This hack tip is brought to you by lynda.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today I'm getting into my favorite Linux resources. Now, there are tons of websites and tons of books out there that can help you learn how to use Linux. And you have sent in plenty of email feedback as well about your favorite places. Now, here are my top websites and books to make you an expert Linux user in just a couple of weeks. Now, the first choice I have is Command Line Foo. This website helps you learn complex commands and check out their popularity via the notes and the votes on the page. This site also helps you easily copy the commands straight from the site. For example, you can notice over here that this one hasn't gotten any votes up and down. This one has two up, so it seems pretty good. I can just simply click on it to copy it. And they also have plenty of comments down here about each and every one. Beautiful and easy. Now, the second one I love because it's just a simple little PDF and I think everybody should have it. I have a printout of this one sitting next to my desk at work in case I'm having a, well, a horrible brain fart because, you know, sometimes that happens. This PDF lists several common commands and what they do for quick reference. This one is a must have if you're just, well, starting out with Linux. Now check out O'Reilly.net for a really huge listing of commands that you can also find in their book. Linux in a nutshell. That's also a really good book, by the way. Now this won't give you an example, so to speak, but it will help with confusing directions and descriptions. This is what the website looks like. Let me close my wish list here. And if you click on any specific one, like pass WD, which we're all pretty familiar with, it basically gives you a very nice listing of everything that you can do with pass WD. It's kind of like a man page for PassWD. Yeah, kind of cool, huh? Now this blog, the next blog that I'm going to mention is from Free Video Lectures and it has links to five different sites that are really extremely helpful for learning commands. Many of these list the information in a table of contents and they help you understand not only the command name, but also why it really works and why it's useful. Now, if you go over there, they have plenty of different links, IBM Developer Words, University of Surrey, which is a really good one. And of course, there's the Novell Open Courseware Project and Linux Security for Beginners. All of these are really useful websites and they're all tied into one place where you can find them all. Now, after the break, I'll show you my favorite books, one in particular that I absolutely love, but check it out. First, a word from our sponsor. You can learn it all at lynda.com, an online learning community with more than 77,000 video tutorials that teach software, creative, and business skills. Memberships start at only $25 per month and they provide unlimited 24-7 access to top quality video courses taught by expert instructors with real world experience. You can learn anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. At your own pace, that's so important. These are bite-sized tutorials and comprehensive courses in web design, programming, business, even audio and video. With new courses added every week, the training library keeps pace with today's fast-changing technical and software skills. You can support Hacktip and try lynda.com for free for seven days by visiting lynda.com slash hacktip. On to the books. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I'm kind of a bookworm. I have an ebook reader and I pretty much have a library in my house. So it's one thing for me to find websites that are useful. It's another thing for me to actually find books that I find really good about a certain subject. Now, I have about four or five books for you to check out. All of them are really, really awesome. But this first one has got to be one of my favorites. This is called the Linux Command Line. You can find it over at Amazon for a pretty good price, and it's also available as an ebook. It's a wonderful book if you've never even touched the operating system. Now, William Schatz describes everything in a way that's really easy to understand and to use to your advantage. I couldn't recommend this book enough. In fact, I've been using it a whole lot for these hack tips and it has helped me immensely. Definitely go check out this book if you buy anything any books in general. The next one I wanted to check out is Ubuntu for non-geeks. Ubuntu for non-geeks makes using not only the terminal, but also the GUI really easy. It's a great book to check out if you've only used strictly Windows going up, growing up, or if you're converting over from a Mac. 
Grant teaches how to do simple tasks like keeping Ubuntu updated to, of course, the terminal. I mean, how could I not include the terminal in one of these books? Now, how could I not include the Linux Pocket Guide? Everyone I know has one of these, and you can also find this one on Amazon. E even Darren has one. I mean, I think he has an older version of it, but he does have one. And you'd think he has everything memorized by the way he talks in, in some of his segments. But of course, it's a definite buy on my list. The Linux Pocket Guide, it can, I can stick it in my purse and bring it to work early if I wanted to, if, in case I forgot anything. And next up, of course, is working at the Ubuntu command line. It's a really great nitty gritty book, so I wouldn't give it to somebody who's just starting out. Maybe if you're a little bit more experienced. It's super cheap, so you can get it into your more advanced tutorials really, really quickly. And last but not least is Ubuntu Made Easy. This is another really great book by Grant. Helps you do all those menial tasks like setting up the printers because we all know that sometimes in Linux, those things don't quite work right. Oh, and it drives me nuts, but it is available for all those different platforms. And this one is available as well on Amazon and I recommend it a ton. Now I'll have links to all of these in my show notes just in case you missed them on the website right down there so you'll know exactly where to look for each. And I hope that some of these are really beneficial to you as much as they were to me. Make sure you email me tips at hack5.org with your thoughts and your comments, even your feedback on which books and which websites have helped you out throughout the process of learning Linux. And don't forget to check out our sister shows, Hack5 and ThreatWire for na that matter. We just started up ThreatWire and it's really, really cool. You can find it over on youtube.com slash ThreatWire. And with that, I'll see you next week. Ciao.